we got this Christmas tree for free. Oh, I haven't opened it yet, but we're going to put it up now. I don't know how big it is either. I hope there's no spiders in there. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Someone gave it away for free on Facebook Marketplace. And then this was also free from Facebook Marketplace. That's so cool, isn't it? Look how many baubles there are in there. Uh, I think they were $3. So that's £1.50 in English money. And then this Christmas tree topper. Look at that. Originally $13.99. So that would be like £7 originally. And it was only $5, which is like £2.50. So yeah, put up the Christmas tree, see what it looks like. So we would have spent a total of, spent a total of uh, $12 on Christmas decorations, which is crazy. So we also got this big stocking thing for presents for $4. So that was two quid. Right, everyone, we're putting the tree up. It's quite big, <laughs> but I'm just gonna put us on a little time lapse, see how long it takes for us to put the tree up. Now the trick is, this is what I was gonna tell you. You want your tree to look more natural, you're supposed to like brush the branches back the wrong way so they're more fluffy and also you're supposed to curl the end of the branch. You know that? And that makes your tree look better, more like filled out. <clears throat> so I'll put you on a time lapse now while we put these up. and girlies tonight we are off to a light show in our local park which should be nice so i'm going to take you along i've got my christmas jumper on and i just put some mosquito repellent on because last time we went out to this park we got stung billy got stung 37 times and i got stung 15 times so that was nice uh, and i was itchy constantly for the next three days so I need to be super careful I don't get bitten. So yeah, I'm smelling off Erda mosquito repellent and got my crimbo jumper on. Let's go see some Christmas lights. Look at that fat spider. Some food trucks. Hey. Lee was just saying that everyone puts their Christmas lights on the balcony, which is quite sweet. Steal that from me. Yeah. Oh no. Silly possum. I can now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, 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 well. 
massive worm. It's a really weird looking, it looks like a crab. Yeah, you guys English. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, see the size of its web? It goes like right around there. Yeah. 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 So there's something in the middle. Yeah, so what he'll do is he'll go round and round and round. He starts on the outside and he builds his way into the middle. So he'll end up like oh, see all this. Yeah. No, he's not. Oh, yeah, he's he'll not finished then. Touch him. And then he'll sit. See how he's sitting in the middle? Yeah. Then he'll sit and then something will land in his web and disturb it, like a moth or something. So if you if you if you do this, Dad, please don't. Oh. Dad, please don't do that. There's my oh. feet. Oh, yeah. he comes for it. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna ruin his home. No, no. Yeah. He's home and get bitten. Okay, let's go. He's gonna be yeah. 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 He's going dinner, <laughs> dinner and a show. That is the end of our light show. Hope you enjoyed that. Now you don't have to pay nine dollars to come here. You're welcome. Oh, it smells like churros. Mm. I kind of want to eat something now. Well, we're going to say goodnight now because I have work at seven in the morning. And then I will also take you along to the Christmas meal that I'm making, me and Billy, this weekend. Oh, you're making it, not me. Yeah, I'm making it, but it's for both of us. So I'll take you along to that. But for now, I need to sleep and recover. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Christmas menu, the three course Christmas meal that I'm making for me and Billy. Starter, brie and bacon Christmas cheese. Cheese? Christmas trees with a chili jam dip. I'm gonna be, so it's gonna be like a little puff pastry starter. Main, roast pork belly with the uh, kale can and mash. And homemade gravy. Um, so the bed of vegetables underneath the pork belly, I'll blend up and that'll be the gravy and dessert eggless bread and butter pudding mulled wine always easy to make and after dinner cheese board oh. i'm just showing you guys what we got for our christmas meal which i'll be cooking tomorrow i'm gonna prep some stuff today so for the starter we've already got some bacon in the fridge but some puff for the b and b b brie and bacon christmas trees got little these cute little christmas skewers and this is gonna be the main meal. We went to a nice butcher's and this was really cheap. So this was $19, so that's like eight quid for this whole pork belly, which is really good. Some leeks, carrots and potatoes and vegetable stock for the gravy. And then these bits and bobs gonna be from the mulled wine. So we've got orange slices, cloves and whole cinnamon sticks. And oh, the vanilla extract is gonna be for the bread and butter pudding. So leave that. And then this is the after dinner charcuterie. Got some few cheeses, few meats. But yeah, I'll take you guys through what I do to cook it tomorrow. I'm gonna prep some stuff tonight beforehand. So I thought I'd do a voiceover just cause it's a little bit easier for you guys to hear me. Um, so I left this bread out overnight just to get, so it gets a bit stale. Apparently that's better for bread and butter pudding. Um, and then here, I'm just chopping some bits and bolts for the gravy. So some leeks, some carrots. Um, and then I believe I'm gonna cut up an onion and so I just shove those all into a baking tray and they're gonna form the base of the main so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the pork belly on top of the vegetables I'm also just gonna crush up some garlic to go in the base as well you don't need to remove the skins of anything that's gonna add to the flavor um, when you blend it up and then I just pour some vegetable stock into the base of the baking tray and you've got to make sure that you've got enough in there because it's gonna evaporate anyway um, but not too much that the pork belly is gonna touch it because if the pork belly meat touches it then it won't go crispy 
Um, so I just got this pork belly out of the fridge overnight. Uh, I left it to salt brine and I'm just patting it dry and scoring the skin. And by doing this, you're dehydrating the pork basically and adding salt. So if you dehydrate the pork skin, it's gonna be more crispy and it's what's gonna give you that crackling. Um, so I'm just scooping up all the salt left on the cutting tray and then it's gonna go on top of the veg. More salt, of course, and I'll bung it in the oven at 200 degrees. Um, I'm not sure how long it takes to cook, it's probably like an hour and a half. But while that's doing that, just gonna make the mold wine and let that sit on the hob. So, whole bottle of wine, some cloves, and some cinnamon sticks. You don't want ground cinnamon because that's just gonna give you like a sandy taste in your wine. And I'm just slicing up a couple of oranges as well. Guys, when I tell you this is gonna smell so good, when you let it simmer on the hob, it makes your whole house smell like mulled wine, it's delicious. So I pre-peeled and cut my potatoes for the mash, the cold can and mash, just to save myself time, and I'm just gonna leave them in the pot with some salt, always salt your potato water, and some baking soda as a little tip to make your potatoes fluffier, so that's good for roast potatoes, but also when we're making mash, it's just a bit quicker. Um, and I've just microwaved some butter here to make some parsley and garlic butter. So I chopped up some garlic, put it in the butter and also put some parsley in there. And I'm just gonna pre-fry my bacon and leeks that I chopped up last night. There's me putting some honey in the mulled wine because I forgot. So if your mulled wine's a little bit of salt, you can add some honey. Um, but yeah, so I fried my leeks and my bacon to go in the mash later. And then this is my starter, which I made overnight. Aren't they cute? So how I basically did them was I had two sheets of puff pastry and in between the two sheets I just layered some ham and some brie. Um, so like a ham and brie sandwich with puff pastry basically. And then you cut them into strips and twist them and put a skewer through them just so you've got these little Christmas tree shapes. Although they're not particularly good Christmas tree shapes but it's fine. They'll come out nice and they'll taste nice. So I basically just basted them all in that garlic butter that I made earlier. And then my chili jam dip going in there. So I shove those in the oven for about 25 minutes um, and I'm gonna move the pork up to the top shelf to cook a bit quicker. So the starter is ready, look how cute they are. They actually, some of them actually came out quite well, but obviously you can see the bottom ones I didn't twist like soon enough. Um, but yeah, the top ones look really nice. Um, but yeah, these are 10 out of 10 from us. They are really delicious. So now I'm just cutting the bread for the bread and butter pudding. So I just cut them lengthways and the other way as well into these cubes and shoved them all into a deep baking dish. So now for the sauce that you're going to pour over it before you bake it, use some apple sauce to replace uh, the egg which would have gone in. Obviously I'm allergic to eggs so I can't have that. Uh, so I also put some vanilla extract, some cinnamon, some milk, whisk it all up, uh, also some honey and some brown sugar as well. Taste it, make sure it's sweet enough, then just pour it all over. Be very generous with the, um, with the mixture, you want it to be nice and moist. So I boiled my potatoes for the cold can of mash. I'm just chucking in a couple of tablespoons of butter and the leek and bacon that we fried earlier. I'm just giving it a good old mash. It should be nice and easy to do because um, the potatoes are well done. And here comes the main dish. Look at the pork. Oh, there's a, I tried to tap it to show you guys how crispy it was, but we'll do a little ASMR in a minute. So I'm gonna let the pork rest on the side for 10 odd minutes. Oh, Look at it.
So my camera died, sorry about that, for the most delicious part of the meal. So you didn't get to see the pork, but I filmed it on my phone anyway. But this is the bread and butter pudding. The yellow light makes it look kind of bad, but I promise it tastes nice. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I had to add a bit of extra milk because without egg it's a little bit dry. But I promise it's delicious. This is the mulled wine from earlier. I'd like to inform you all that we did not in fact have room for a cheese board. That was very ambitious. So we are going to eat it tomorrow. <laughs> So I'll see you tomorrow. So we didn't end up having the cheese board because we're both ill and I don't think I'm gonna have cheese and crackers anytime soon because I don't feel very well. So unfortunately no cheese board. So I'm gonna end the video there. So sorry about that uh, mundane outro. But once I'm better, I'll start filming some other stuff for you guys. Um, let me know what sort of content you wanna see in the comments. Uh, I love to hear your suggestions. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a good Christmas if I don't see you uh, until the new year. Um, but yeah, peace out.